What color is that? I don't know. That's amazing. I like that one a lot. Love that red. What company is that? Revlon. Oh, I'm gonna get that one. Okay, what were we just talking about? I forget. We were talking about what I would do. What you would do. Cut your hair. Dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. You're gonna get a wash, right? Nice this afternoon. Yeah. You've always worn makeup, right? Yeah. Why? Just to make myself look a little good. It makes you feel good, right? I didn't have a lot of uh, stuff. You even have your nails painted. Look at this. You're fancy, Grandma. That's Norma. Yeah. She does your nails for you. Once a week. Yeah. Once a week. <laughs> I never yeah. had, I never wore one. Yeah. When Jim was alive. Because on our honeymoon, I had bright red nail polish and I was up at Williams Lake and I am scraping off the nail polish and mm -hmm. Jim says, if you don't stop that, I'm going home. <laughs> and I said, I don't ever, ever want to say you uh, Nail polish again. <gasps> That's what he said to you? And I said, he never, I never wore nail, nail polish? polish again until now that Norma does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. You don't have any jewels on today. But... What I did with my jewelry? Yeah. All my good jewelry's back in the safety deposit box. box. And the, uh, my earrings I forgot to put on this morning. I know. You gotta put them on. You switch purses based on what outfit you wear? Maybe what I'm gonna do. I'm just like you, Grim, I'm telling you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get the lipstick again. Smile. This is true love, Grandma. Yeah, that's right. There you go. My name is Billy LaRue Romney Dunn. Born in Salt Lake City, Utah. Married a Bostonian, so I lived in Boston 30 years. And then I moved, we retired and we moved to New Smyrna Beach for 30 years. And I moved in, and I've been now at Waterman Village, my 11th year. And uh, I'm here. <laughs> How old are you? I'm, I'm 99 years old, and I'm still here. <laughs> You're still here, and you should say that with a big smile on your face, because it's so exciting. And Meredith, my one of my granddaughters, is taping this about me. I don't know why. <laughs> because we love you, and you have just um, a mind full of wisdom that we don't have, and I want to share that with the world. You have 90, 90 years of wisdom. Yeah. Right. But I can get it, always remember it though. Yeah. So we were talking about other other people's families. Yeah. And that you said if I said you want to take this off. Oh, I don't want that one. <laughs> I said no. I said if I came back to this earth to live, that I would only like to go if I got had the same husband, the same parents, the same kids. The same grandkids, grandkids. <laughs> and great grandkids. And great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, tell us what March sixth is. March sixth, March sixth, two thousand nineteen is going to be the anniversary of our wedding day, which was seventy four years ago, and Tim died. He died in nineteen thirteen, twenty thirteen. So really on that. Seventy four years. Yeah. So what would your best advice be for love? Be fair with each other. Don't 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 know I, I wait well Jim and I like didn't like the people the people had their own bank accounts. So you shared bank accounts? We shared mm -hmm. we, everything we shared. Mm -hmm. No matter what how we shared, we shared and shared like. Mm hmm and if I wanted money, I could take money, and if they wanted it to me, he would take money. Right. And we, we, if there was business dealings to do, we shared. Mm -hmm. 
shepherd. Mm-hmm. And then the marriage is there a sharing mm-hmm. and giving. Mm-hmm. And you can't be like one person being another. They're, they're all family group. And they should all be treated the same. Yeah. 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 You guys spent a lot of time together, huh? How did you not get sick of each other? I don't know. You just loved him that much? Yeah. No, yeah. I, didn't. I just, just, that was that way to Yeah. We those two years in China. And we weren't even married at that time. for him. After the war? After the war, during the war. During the war, yeah. Yep. He was in China with General Chanel. Mm-hmm. And, uh, one 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 week one week that one week after he landed in the United States one week and two, two days we were married. Mm-hmm. Yep, seventy four years is a long time. Huh? That actually, I knew him from the nineteen forty two on. Mm-hmm. If Grandpa were here, what would you say to him? Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> I miss Don't him. Go. I miss him. So, yeah. Would so, you do anything differently? No. You do the same thing. The same thing. Everything exactly the same, or you would you change anything at all? Not, not really. No. See, because we took our children. When we took them with us, we left our children when we had to be let them, let them home. They used to have the babysit with the babysitter. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, and I love all the kids, their spouses and their other I said, I know. I just wanted to do the same thing over again. So you had a pretty, pretty good life? You feel like you did everything that you wanted to do? Well, I had, I had a great family in that. And we struggle too when they, it's by the way we raise the kids and they respect everybody. And uh, they respect, even if they respect their grandparents. Mm-hmm. And so all the families like, like each other so a lot. I think you got pretty lucky, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. I would say yeah. so. Very good. Now, if you could give me one piece of advice, life advice. What would it be? Always be kind to people. Always be good to people. And uh, not 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 bitter. Just be a nice person. Well, uh, and, and if they have, a, uh, they're married and they have children. Take the take the children. Not that any one's better than the other. Make them all the same. All equal. All equal. Yeah. It's pretty good advice. We did that, too. Yeah. That's what you did. You yeah, and Grandpa did. did. Yes. Yep. So, I think that's what worth a lot of advice. Mm-hmm. And, and don't have a favorite. Mm-hmm. Because all your kids should be favorites. Yeah. Each one is, has their own personality, mm-hmm. but there's, no one's not better than the other one. Mm-hmm. Well, you've always you've always taken care of yourself, right? So you've always well, done your hair every yeah. day. You put makeup on every day. Yeah. What would you say the reasoning behind that is, and do you suggest that people live that way so as like well? You, like you, like you, like you, like a life person. Mm-hmm. It, it, it keeps you smiling. Yeah. I want you to do. You should do things, and always. My mother always was kind to everybody. Mm-hmm. She's the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Her, her, she had a hundred cartes on her funeral up to the cemetery mm-hmm. because she always took care of all of the, no matter who oh, they were, the gardener, the anything. Mm-hmm. They were always they were very good people. She treated everybody the same, yeah. no matter who you, who you were, the yeah. janitor or the president. That, right. The same. That's the thing. It's a pretty good way to live, huh? Yeah, she did. And she died too young. Yeah. 
She didn't have time to do it to all of the things that she wanted to do. Yeah. What would your best advice be for women who are struggling to love their their bodies? What would your advice be to them? Then just take their bodies. They're there. They are their bodies. Don't abuse them. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be undressed half the time. And, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you... Uh, you know, just, just because somebody's got something with you have it, that doesn't mean you're not no good. Right. Everybody's in their own self. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. And you've always exercised, so what's the what's the best advice for people? Um, you've always exercised, and even you exercise yeah. today. Yeah. So, yeah, what do you think about that? I think you should do exercises, but you shouldn't be overly done. Mm -hmm. You should do certain exercises and... Do you think that that had something to do with the longevity of your life? I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. Because Jim was 94 when he died. Yeah. And he always exercised. We played a lot of golf. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of things. And we, we, we always went out together. And we never went to bed mad at each other. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good lesson in love, right? right. Never yeah. go to bed yeah. mad. That's right. Yeah. Tell us about you bringing your weights and stuff on your trips. Oh, weights and we had, it, we had it, a little suitcase at gym and the, the one playing golf and we mm -hmm. put some, we had a coffee can wrapped up and a towel that was put mm -hmm. on one, under one leg and then we rolled towels up, we had two towels rolled up that mm -hmm. we could use on our, and we took weights, just mm -hmm. weights, and we took the shower curtain and cut it in half so we laid on didn't have to lay on the dirty floor. Right. <laughs> and, and, and we bought a we had to have a pillow so we bought a pillow in Walmart mm -hmm. to lay on the floor. And we each took count how there somebody had to count their exercises, we took account of each other's mm -hmm. and we always did our exercises. Mm -hmm. Kept do you think that it kept you healthy? Yes. Yeah. I left it I left it. One, 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 I said, oh, he's out in Utah with my sister, so when he had a stop there, we had him. My daughter had her, uh, what say, and one of my last sons in, in Boston mm -hmm. had one of the mm -hmm. weights. So anytime, any, anytime you visited them, you had weights. your weights to exercise. So there was yeah. really no excuse for you not to do them, right? Right. Yeah. So that's a pretty good lesson, yeah. right? There's yeah. really no excuse. No, there's no excuse. Yeah. 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 And do that. Um, we were talking yesterday a little bit about interracial couples and relationships and um, what would be, you said, what, what did you say yesterday? You said just as long as you're happy. You're happy. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I personally, not the one that wanted to do that, but mm -hmm. uh, if that's what you feel on that, you don't make something's people so push it away from them. Mm -hmm. I, I had a friend who wouldn't let her grown grandson come in her house because it was interracial. Mm -hmm. And I can still I still think that's wrong because that's still her push, push, and blah, blah. Right. So you yeah. just have to see what happens. Right. What would be your best advice for an interracial couple? If the, the, the best the best take care of themselves together because mm -hmm. they gotta like each other and if they can't hurt they can't harm each other just because of the, the, the uh, you know the racial mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they've got to take care of their children mm -hmm. yeah what have been some of your fondest memories anytime anywhere any place oh different, different memories all my pictures are like because I was a young kid growing up, mm -hmm. and, uh, and all the trips that we took with our children, mm -hmm. and, uh, and not went out of the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren that have been down to Sears and Florida, because we were told that nobody would come to like us because we were leaving our our grandparents by themselves. <laughs> and and yeah. I said, I've seen more of my grandchildren, 
great grandchildren in Florida, and I was just after they lived in Boston. Mm-hmm. So you've got it. So we even had these little children come down on the airplane by themselves, mm-hmm. and then we took them all over. Yeah. We had got this. We had uh, Carrie and uh, Jeffrey, mm-hmm. our first two. Great 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 grandchildren. Yep, yep. And they came down when they were ten and twelve years old mm-hmm. and we went we asked their family what they could do and they said they can do anything they want. So mm-hmm. we took them places and they went down slippery slides mm-hmm. and they went all over the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they had a wonderful time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Those are some of your fondest yeah, memories, yeah, 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 being able to be with your oh, family. My kid did it yeah. Were, yeah. And, I took, and Jeffrey, not Jeffrey, uh, Jesse. Mm-hmm. His mother came down when he was two, two weeks. It was a little, maybe it was two years old. Yeah. And she had a, a sister who was five, five, five days old. Was that me? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, they can't, you left Jesse with Tim and I, and took Meredith her to New Orleans because she had the meetings in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And the, Meredith went to the meetings, even if they were at midnight, mm-hmm. and she went and then the um, Little night and pulled my the little horses and ride the horses uh-huh. around down little uh-huh. carriages. She went those at midnight when she was not then not a month old, uh-huh. and uh, <laughs> everybody laughed. But she turned out to be a one of the literary girls. <laughs> there she is. There I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took Chuck Jeffrey. Not Jeffrey. <laughs> Jesse? Jesse. Mm-hmm. To, to Disney World. Mm-hmm. He was two years old because he wanted yep. to see Disney World. And Minnie came out, so he cried like it was when, when, when uh, Mickey Mouse came out. He just wanted her in the hide. <laughs> and so then we took him on the merry-go-round. Yeah. And I gave him all my pocket book and my pictures and everything to Jim. Mm-hmm. Jim was going when we go on the air. Merry go round. Uh-huh. I love merry go round. And then I had Jesse on my legs. And we went up and down on the merry go round. We had the stage, we went up and down. And it stopped at the top of the hill. Yeah. And I couldn't get off. Yeah. And I had to get some man to <laughs> Oh, because it stopped while you were all yeah, the way up top. <laughs> and so they had to hand, hand Jesse down. Yeah. And then they had to hand me down. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Anyway, it was fun. Yeah. Good. So those are some of the fun. Things. What are what are some of the other pieces of advice that you have for me as I continue to to live? How the rest of you to live like you want to live, and if you don't want to get married, you should be what you want to be. Mm-hmm. It sure is your boss, and if you, if you find somebody you like. Marry them. Mm-hmm. Just don't go go, go get yeah, marry them and in good faith. But mm-hmm. if you don't don't want it, it's your business and nobody else's business but your own. Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah. Do you have right. anything else to say to the world, Grandma? With all of this wisdom that you have, anything else that you want to share with stop people that we don't everybody. know? <laughs> What's that? Stop, stop killing everybody. Stop killing everybody. That's a good yeah. good world message. Yeah. 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 Be happy. Yeah. How do you how do you be happy? Is it a choice or is it how do you be happy? Be nice with people. Yeah. Respect people. Yeah. Talk to people. Right. You know, and, and enjoy people. Yeah. So they're right. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, that's okay. it. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay.